Should you continue to buy silver at these prices? As silver stackers, we haven't seen market prices sustaining levels this high since 2013. We witnessed a depressing silver bear market for the last six years. With this recent blip in price increase, we're all asking ourselves, do we buy? Do we sell and take profits? Do we sit on the sidelines and wait for the bearish sentiment and manipulation to return? Or is this the confirmation for the beginning of a bull market? All very valid questions. I'm not a financial advisor and anything represented in this video is not to be considered investment advice. What I can do is tell you how I'm addressing these questions and why. I've been watching this market for many years and I have seen fundamental signals destroyed by the blatant manipulation that has been going on, rendering them basically useless in establishing accurate price predictions. What I do know is that silver is outpacing the inflationary fiat currencies around the world. As these baseless monetary instruments wither away into nothingness, silver's value continues to hold fast. It has evolved from an established form of money to more of an industrial metal these days, but still has its long-standing foundation as a store of value and of wealth. Gold has evolved into a store of value for the central banks and governments and has been presented to have very little practical use for the average citizen. It is generally out of reach for most people to purchase at almost $2,000 an ounce right now. Governments and the media continue to bash gold as a barbaric relic with no true value to the common citizen. The problem I see is that almost all the gold in the world has been already claimed and tucked away in some vault of the ultra-rich, a central bank, or a sovereign nation. As a percentage, very little will actually be available for investors to convert their wealth into it. I believe that this will be a big factor when the panic begins. All the connected investors will already have accumulated their gold or be the first in line to purchase what's left before the masses have access to the markets. It has always been this way and there's no reason to believe that it will be any different tomorrow. This means that there won't be any gold to buy and once that realization hits, investors will look to whatever little silver is left, but it will be also gone. At this point, everyone will be looking for safe haven asset classes other than the already depleted gold and silver markets. With all the money printing, growing national debt, decreasing confidence in government, and the health crisis, I feel that it is inevitable that such a panic will happen and at that moment, if you have not already prepared financially, it will be too late. All markets will be shut down to prevent stocks' radical price swings. Financial institutions will declare a bank holiday and shut their doors, turn off their ATMs, and shut down their online banking in order to prevent any bank runs and to maintain solvency. Exactly when this happens is debatable, but I think everyone is finally coming to the realization that it will happen eventually. It has to there are no longer any other courses of action to prevent it. The economy is weak, the Fed no longer has any room with interest rates, unemployment is high, the medical crisis is in full swing without any real light at the end of the tunnel. All that can be done is to continue to print more money to keep the system afloat until it can no longer. And that is when the panic will ensue. Right now we are witnessing a decoupling of the paper markets and the physical markets for precious metals. Part of the reason for this is that while millions of ounces of gold trade on the futures market every day, typically only a tiny fraction of that goes to delivery. But in recent months, huge amounts of bullion have been flowing into New York and the COMEX has seen record deliveries. 
we have to be mindful that the silver market is extremely small compared to other markets. While the COMEX vaults alleged to hold over 320 million ounces of physical silver, only 90 million ounces are currently marked as registered and available for immediate delivery. Due to recent events, there has been a massive historical increase for the physical delivery of silver contracts, and the LBMA has stepped up to help the COMEX to provide the physical demand, but for how long? Eventually, the silver currently available in all the markets will run out, and when it does, contracts will have to be settled in cash. You see, when you buy an ETF contract for precious metals, you should always read the prospectus fine print. These ETFs don't give you exposure to the precious metal. You are buying shares of the trustee. Basically, you are a shareholder of the trust, not a gold or silver holder. Your shares represent a paper claim on the metal, not the metal itself. Under extreme conditions, the trustee will settle your claim in cash, not the actual gold or silver. Unlike physical bullion, which is a tangible asset, ETFs are a financial product that have counterparty risk. Counterparty risk is present when there's a possibility the other party in agreement will default or fail to live up to their obligations. A gold futures contract can be held with a $9,300 or 40% margin deposit, but it would cost close to $200,000 to take delivery of the 100 ounces of gold specified by the futures. If for any reason the investor is unable to make their margin call, they will default on that contract and would lose everything. With silver, based on the number of paper ounces traded, compared to the amount of COMEX registered silver in the vaults, there is an estimated ratio of 480 to 1. This means there were 480 people that think that they will be able to take delivery for the same one ounce of physical silver. 479 people will be receiving a cash settlement in lieu of their physical delivery. Once the dollar begins to seriously crash, this will ruin many investors who believe that their contracts represent a physical delivery of the metal. This is why having physical possession of your precious metals is so vitally important. Another factor that is decoupling the paper and physical silver markets is the market is offering and may continue to offer an arbitrage opportunity for investors to take delivery. Standard futures contracts call for the delivery of 100 troy ounces of gold or 500 ounces of silver. Futures, which typically trade in lockstep with the London spot price, soared to a premium as much as $70 an ounce. That move inflicted losses on many banks, which typically sell futures to hedge their positions in the over-the-counter London market. It is true that many more contracts are issued on the COMEX than metal is available to back them up, but that itself is not the problem because the banks can and often do settle contracts in cash. It will be when the arbitrators start to demand physical delivery to try to bridge the gap, pocketing some of the premiums in the physical markets by selling directly to the retailers and or mints. The arbitrators take delivery and can supply the mints directly if there is a profit in doing so. It appears that as of now, there definitely is a profit in this, and it's only a matter of time before it happens. If you have no physical gold or silver in your possession, now is the time to get some to hedge your wealth against an obviously failing economic situation. You don't want to be on the sideline. It is my opinion that the odds of a bull market far exceed those of a continued bear market. The decoupling of the markets is a sign that the manipulation may not be able to continue and the true discovery market price may be able to be established. 
Market prices will ebb and flow, but the important thing is to stay focused on the long game. Once the markets begin to deteriorate and everyone rushes to safe haven assets which you already possess, those assets will increase exponentially, allowing you to secure your economic future because you had the foresight to prepare your financial portfolio. Did you find this information to be useful? Are you already in possession of your safe haven assets that will preserve your personal wealth? Let me know in the comments section below. A huge shout out to all those who support this channel by watching the entire video, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. If for some reason you're not yet a subscriber and you enjoy this content, hit the subscribe button. Then be sure to select the notification bell to be notified as soon as I post up new content. Check out the ST66 Discord where you can monitor the conversations between precious metal stackers, watch videos, learn about current events that affect finance, or even chime into a conversation yourself. It doesn't matter if you're a veteran stacker or brand new, the Discord is here for all. The link is in the show more section below. If you enjoy free giveaways, trivia contests, great conversation, and bullion auctions, then you'll have to check out the ST66 live chat auction each Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Come and check it out.